This morning we are going designer for our dogs. We're showing you the latest in the posh life for your pooch. And here to tell us all about it is design guy Brian Thompson. Welcome. Hey, good morning. Good to see you. Thanks for having me here. Now you, in real life, design cars. Yeah, I design cars for Nissan. But I like to get out there and get inspired by lots of different things. So th today we're talking about dog design. How about it? And you brought your little dog? This is Lou. Lou. Yeah. And Hi, Lou. <laughs> Lou has been a very good dog all morning, yeah. patiently waiting for his close-up. There he is <laughs> in his little doggy mobile. Let's start with this. Okay. What is he uh, in right now? Well, you know what? This, he's a puppy, but this is actually for older dogs, and mm -hmm. I think it's a really great thing. It's, you hook it up to your bicycle, or you can push it if you're out running. And if it's for a dog that, say, has a hip problem or can't get about so much, Pop them in there, they can still be social and go out. It's huge. You could fit a St. Bernard in there. Well, you know, I think it's actually made for labs because they have those hips, oh, you know, that go bad when they get old. That could be a problem for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So you latch it onto your bicycle right mm -hmm. here, yep. and then you just kind of let the dog tag just along. Dog tags along. You can close it up. You can put a couple in there if you have little dogs like me. Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of fun, and I think it's a very clever way to get your dog out and let him be social even if he has some health problems. I think Lou's liking it a lot. Yeah. Over here on the end, we have a little dog carry-on. What is that? Well, you know, that takes the dog bag to the next step. I travel a lot to New York back and forth and I always have to put Lou under the seat and I, I'm always carrying him on my shoulder and I thought when I saw this I was like oh my god this is great you just put the dog in there and you can push it around the airport like your other totes so you take your dog on trips to New York oh yeah well he's got to go to New York <laughs> <laughs> He's a city Lou, dog. you are a very lucky dog. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Okay, now we've got the fire hydrant. Something tells me, I, I think I know what this is about. Yeah, this is actually for training dogs. You put this, if you have an apartment or in your backyard, teaches them where to pee in one spot uh -huh. so that you can kind of control that, set it up, and it's kind of fun. So they just naturally gravitate. Well, they seem to like high fire hydrants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now, have you designed any of these things, or you've just kind of collected them? You just have an eye for what's cool. No, I have not designed anything here today. I just collected these. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you've got quite the collection. All right, let's move out here and this oh, yeah. is a nice little sofa. Yeah, um, this is just a little doggy set tee. Again, mm -hmm. you can get this at, um, at Tag on University. It's a, it's a store where they, they sell dog and cat treats. But you don't have to spend so much money as this. You can actually buy cheaper things, too, and I think we could show some of those. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, um, over here we've got a couple things. You know, it's fun to spend a lot of money on your pooch, but, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, you can get really great toys like this one. It's a little bit corny, but it teaches them how to, you know, to tug in war and to, uh, you know, fetch. A little and, corn uh, on the cob stick. A little corn on the cob stick, yeah. So little toys and little things. Look, yeah. at, I think Lou's about, time's about up for yep. Lou on there. Yep. Okay, this we want to share because this is really cool. Yeah, this is called the Porta Potty Penthouse. And the basically, it's for if you live in a high-rise apartment or you're in a motorhome on a camping trip and you can't really take your dog out that much, uh -huh. you can just pop this in the room. The dog juice, when they make it, goes down into the middle of the thing and you just hose the thing out and it's clean. The dog juice goes to the middle underneath yeah. and you just hose it on out. I think Lou wants to uh, oh, try wants, out the little penthouse dog I think dog he's going to demonstrate for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lou, are you really going to do that? <laughs> now, how much does something like this cost? Well, these aren't cheap. These are about, this thing is about 500 bucks. So right. it's, a, it's a big investment. But, you know, if you have, it's a, if you don't have a yard, it's a cheaper way to go. Right. If you live in an apartment, this right. could be a, a perfect thing for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know you can do it, Lou. <laughs> there you go. There he made it. All right. Well, we're glad that Lou's happy with his little dog, Porta Potty. Yeah. For more information on all of these things and where to buy them, you can go to KUSI.com. Really cool. Thanks yeah, for coming thank in and you. sharing. This is great. And you are a good dog. <laughs> yeah.